what else did we watch? We saw us. Us and them. Finally did. Finally did? Well, it hadn't been that long. Well, over the summer, I think it came out. Yeah. We're a little behind on some of these. Mm -hmm. We get tied up in, you know, those horror porn, not horror porn, torture porn movies all fall. Mm -hmm. Then we got tied up with the kids' movies in October. And our modern, modern horror classics have gotten pushed back a little bit. All those universals and hammers slowed us down, too. Yeah. (sighs) The yeah. classic classics. Yeah, well, they still, so, they still slowed us down. <laughs> we're going to have a couple of weeks in January and February where we do nothing but recent, recent movies and get caught up. Mm. So Us was from 2019, directed by Jordan Peele, written by him too. Stars Lupita Nyong'o. Lupita Nyong'o. It's hard to say that I fast. Think, I think you're saying it right. I'm saying it right that yeah. time. Uh-huh. Winston Duke and Elizabeth Moss, hour and 56 minutes. Amazon link in the show notes. And other people in it too. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Everybody's got a dual role in this one. You know, something I thought of today, actually, us, do you think, is also U.S.? With the hands across America thing, and it's U.S., and, you know. But, well, they, but they said at the end that it was there. going on everywhere, but I can't imagine that this program would be overseas. So, yeah, I think you're probably right. It is just United States. U.S. But it never really it comes does. up. You could go lots of different ways with that. Yeah. Did you like it? Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah, I thought and that was I li- very good. I liked it so much better than his previous big one, Get Out. And, yeah, I liked this a lot. The hype yeah. train ran right over Get Out. This was good all by itself. hmm Well, we learned from the Hands Across America commercial on TV that this takes place in 1986. The family goes well, to the... starts out. Starts out. Starts out, Yeah. yeah. The family goes to the boardwalk at the beach, and Adelaide, the little girl, wants a Thriller t-shirt. So that just shows you how old that is. Mm -hmm. Does anybody alive remember when Thriller came out? I do. (laughs) Yeah, I do too. You do too. (laughs) She walks off while her father's playing a game, and her mother goes to the restroom. She goes down the steps into the darkness toward the water. She finds a lonely funhouse booth out there called Find Yourself, mm, and she enters. Boy, does she. <laughs> <laughs> the lights go off, and she has a hard time finding her way out of this hall of mirrors. One of the versions of her in the mirror doesn't turn around when it's supposed to. Mm, the girl screams, not a reflection. and credits roll. That's a pretty spooky start. Mm-hmm. Well, we jump ahead to the present day. <clears throat> the little girl now has a family of her own, and they've just arrived at their summer house. There's some mention of going to the beach, and the mother gets a weird look in her eyes. She don't like the beach. We yeah. flash back to Adelaide as a little girl, and she won't talk about what happened. Her parents know she's been traumatized somehow, but they don't know any specifics because Adelaide refuses to speak after the incident. Mm-hmm. You know, little kids, bad things happen, and they, they, they don't talk. Clam up, yeah. Back in the pres- present, Adelaide refuses to go to the beach, but her husband really, really wants to go, so she gives in. On the way, they pass the same crazy man that Adelaide saw so many years ago. That really doesn't go anywhere, does it? Mm, Sort of, because there's an alternate of him, too. Well, yeah, Yeah. but okay. Well, the family goes to Santa Cruz Beach with their friends, Kitty and Josh. A small thing, but yeah. The Find Yourself booth is still there. A little more run down, but it's still there. Her son Jason runs off, but he only goes to the bathroom. No harm done, but Adelaide freaks out over it. She wants to go home, as this whole trip has just been too much for her. And Elizabeth Moss and, um, what's the other guy? Are their friends? Kitty and Josh. Yeah, Kitty and Josh, they're they're couple friends. They're hanging out on the beach. Mm -hmm. Well, she talks to Gabe, her husband, about what happened so long ago, and suddenly the power goes out. Oh, yeah, they're back home. Yeah. Yeah. Little Jason comes in and asks who that family standing outside is. There's a man and a woman and two children out there. Hmm. Of course, at first, nobody believes in that. That, That's just stupid. That would never... Oh, wait. Who are those people? Gabe goes out and confronts them, but they just stand there. And she calls 911. When they do finally move, they they move very strangely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the children kind of skitter away. Yeah. Yeah. Spidery. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the strangers finally break in. Turns out it's the same four people, only a little different. It's them. It's sort us, of. says Jason. Sort of, yeah. They're off. They're kind of off. They're, yeah, they look identical, but they're weird. Yeah. Yeah. They don't move right or talk right. And, yeah. Well, the other mother, who we find out from the credits, is called Red. 
they all have duplicate names, but they don't really ever get called by those names for yeah, the most part. Yeah, not really. Explains no. that she was once Adelaide's shadow. The shadow hated the real girl. She calls this the untethering. They make it Adelaide handcuff herself to the table. The four imposters each then pair off against their duplicates. For the most part, the normal folks win and get away in their boat. And that was a pretty awesome scene. It goes on a while. It's a long whole, scene. With the whole yeah. invasion, invasion, and it shows the four Maybe of the them best part of the movie. in different parts of the house. Well, and the, and the dad goes out to the boat. They, yeah. they, he gets out of the house. This and, whole scene's yeah. like maybe a half an hour long, and mm-hmm. it's really How good. all four of them deal with their doppelgangers. And, yeah. Meanwhile, Josh and Kitty hear something outside. Their own doppelgangers are a little more effective than the first bunch. Yeah, I wasn't. I was not expecting that from no, previews or yeah. anything. That you knew was the a, four got it, but you yeah, didn't know anybody else did. Yeah, and they don't. Yeah, they don't mess around like. The, <laughs> yeah, they just chop right to it. No talking, you know, just kill it. Yeah, yeah. And they quickly overwhelm and kill the real people. Adelaide and the family then knock on the door, and Kitty slash Dahlia grabs Adelaide and pulls her inside while the kids and Gabe do battle with Josh and his family. Mm -hmm. It takes a while. Good times. (laughs) But our family defeats these guys as well. And then they're trying to call 911, and 911 is all tied up. And the Why don't the police answer? And, yeah. The, they the, turn on the TV. <laughs> it's big. Everywhere. Yeah, it's happening everywhere. Yeah. Huge yeah. numbers of these fake people are out there. Red eventually grabs Jason and takes him back to the boardwalk. Hundreds and hundreds of red-garbed clo- clones are holding hands all in a row. Adelaide goes back inside the funhouse and goes down inside the works of the place. There are a vast There's number more to it than just a fun house. Yeah. There's a vast number of underground tunnels for maintenance underneath. You know, under the boardwalk they got the water and the pipes and the sewers and the machinery and the power and all that. But below that there's more. She goes down, down, and more down until she finds an escalator going down. Going down more. <laughs> she finds a huge complex overrun overrun with rabbits. In the opening scene with the credits, we see this cage of two rabbits. Then it zooms out, and there's eight rabbits. Oh, and before long, rabbits. they zoom out, and there's hundreds and hundreds of rabbits. It's a lab. Is what they eat. <laughs> she mm-hmm. mentioned at one point mm-hmm. the, the the real girl got Christmas dinner. She ate a dead rabbit. Mm-hmm. So that's, I think this is their food source. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we finally get a weird explanation about the people below controlling the people above and how it was all an abandoned mind control experiment. Red then became obsessed with Adelaide and the world above. The other, Tethered, saw her as something special and started following her lead. She did all this to reenact the Hands Across America with duplicates and, of course, to steal the real people's lives. And it gets kind of weird, yeah. And then there's more, but <laughs> yeah. leave that part out. Well, and I, one of my favorite parts, too, was the, the tethering. Um, it, I don't know what she kind of said, is one soul, two bodies. And the people above, they showed when flashback when she was a little girl at, at the carnival. Mm-hmm. And people on carnival rides up above, you know, riding the carnival rides, their duplicates down below were like running in circles. <laughs> and uh, the roller coaster, you know, they were, you know, riding the roller coaster just in these corridors. You know, Feeding each the, other imaginary food. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, mimicking everything that was going on. Everything up, up above, above was the same below as yeah, well as it could that, be. That was cool how yeah. they did that yeah <laughs> okay well this was far better than i was expecting many reviews i've seen compared this to jordan peele's other big hit but i thought get out was just horribly overrated this was didn't not care overrated. for it that much i really enjoyed this i one. was expecting this would be overhyped as well but no it really is good all by itself yeah I thought so. the final explanation for what happened was very weird but i guess it does sort of explain things if you don't think about it too hard I'd like to see what the world is going to look like when they all stop holding hands, mm-hmm. but otherwise it, it does all make sense. The final twist was something I thought was obvious even before the credits began. One beautiful twist at the end. But didn't think it would go there, so I kind of forgot about it. Oh, okay. Turns out it did happen the way I thought, mm-hmm. but it was so much of an afterthought that I'd forgotten about <clears throat> the possibility, so it actually worked out for their benefit in the end. Yeah, definitely oh, thumbs up. See it. I give that a 9 out of 10. Mm-hmm. And that's our show. Stop in during the week to the website, horrorguys.com. Check us out on social media or tune into the full-length audio.
podcast. Just everything here, our weekly show is done as a full length, around an hour audio podcast each week. Where we talk about all the movies. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. That helps us out. Give some likes and subscribes. Yep. And horrorguys.com has, of course, all our reviews in writing. Mm -hmm. If you want to read more, sometimes we'll forget the line here or there. So if you want to read them, check out horrorguys.com. Yeah. And I'm Brian. I'm Kevin. And we'll see you at the next movie. See ya.